Welcome to in 5 minutes. So our problem statement is 3 equidistant vertical rods each of 20 mm diameter supports a load of 25 kN in the same plane as shown in the figure. Initially all the rods are adjusted to share the load equally. Neglecting any chances of buckling and taking ES equal to 205 GPa and EC equal to 100 GPa determine the final stresses when a further load of 20 kN is added. So we can see in this figure we have this steel and copper rod system on which initially there is a load of 25 kN. The length of steel and copper rod is different. The copper rod is of 2.8 meter and steel rod is of 3.6 meter whereas the diameter of steel and copper rod is same. Initially the diameter of the copper and steel rod and its length as well as the load is so adjusted that the initial stresses on the steel rod and copper rod is same. So in this problem we have been asked to find out the final stresses when an additional load of 20 kN is added on the system. So we have to find final stresses in copper rod and steel rod when load of extra 20 kN is added. So now let's solve the problem. First let us note down the given data. A problem can be divided into two parts. Initially the load applied is 25 kN. Due to this load there will be some stresses and as per given problem the stresses are equal in copper and steel load. Also there will be some kind of deformation. Finally the total load becomes minus 25 minus 20 kN equal to minus 45 kN due to the addition of extra 20 kN load. We first consider the part 1 of the problem considering only 25 kN load. We first apply the static equilibrium equation which is nothing but force balance equation. Now since we have two steel rods of equal diameter and length the load shared by both the steel rod will be same. So let the load shared by two steel rod be 2 PS and the load shared by copper be PC and this is equal to minus 25 kN. Now since it has been given that the load shared by copper and steel rod is same we can say that PS is equal to PC. So I can write the above equation as 2 PC plus PC is equal to minus 25 kN. So 3 PC is equal to minus 25 kN. So PC comes out to be minus 8.33 kN and it is compressive. Also the initial stresses will be sigma s is equal to sigma c is equal to p by a. Now since the stresses on the single steel rod and copper rod is same. The load is minus 8.33 into 10 to the power 3 newton upon area is pi by 4 into 20 square. So this comes out to be minus 26.52 newton per mm square and it is compressive. 